Good day, everybody. My name is Mike, and I'm a Christian. That's right. No prefix, no suffix, definitely no substitutions. My name is Mike, and I'm a Christian. I come to you today because I was watching one of Paul Mays' videos. You know I love that guy. And uh, he was talking about, you know, water baptism... <clears throat> The necessary, how it's necessary to be immersed for the uh, for the blood of Christ to be able to contact you, be able to be washed clean and stuff like that. And I came up with a pretty interesting concept, and I wanted to run it by you. So here's my question today: How many souls were lost? on the day of Pentecost. That's right. How many were lost? Because on the day of Pentecost, it says that the, the Holy Spirit was poured out onto the apostles. Right. It says that they were given the gifts, that's with an S, of the Holy Spirit. That's miraculous gifts. They were given these gifts in order to confirm that they were from God. That what they teach, what they say, what they do is approved and is from the Almighty God. They didn't have the Bible yet, and so that's what the gifts of the Holy Spirit were for. So they rained out the gifts of the Holy Spirit onto the apostles on the day of Pentecost, and it says that they began to speak, and that as they spoke, in tongues everyone around could hear the lesson that he was giving the gospel of Christ the one gospel there's only one and it was all being heard in in their own tongue so he was speaking someone else's language unlearned and that was miraculous and so the people that were there saw that and it says 3,000 were added to the church but my question is how many weren't just like today there were our people that were there on the day of Pentecost that when the apostles told them that when they needed to obey the gospel that they had to go into the water like the Ethiopian eunuch to be immersed and washed clean like every example of anyone who was added to the church in the New Testament they didn't believe that and they didn't want to accept that and they thought that oh well I believe that's enough and they went home with great intentions they went home and they might have even preached and teached another gospel believing in Jesus Christ teaching that water immersion was just an option. It was an outward sign of an inward grace. So yes, 3,000 souls were saved on the day of Pentecost, but my question to you is, how many were lost? How many didn't want to accept the simple truth that hearing, believing, repenting, confessing, and humbly going to the watery grave of baptism to have your sins washed away, how many of them were lost? Ladies and gentlemen, I leave this lesson with you. The comment section is down below. And I bring you these lessons because I don't want you to be one of them. I don't want you to be lost. 
I know a lot of times I seem hyped up and excited, but I'm hyped up and excited because I have joy to bring the true gospel of Christ to people who are lost. But what makes me so joyful about doing that is because of how sad it makes me to know that there's so many that won't accept the truth the simple gospel of Christ and they will be lost just like on the day of Pentecost so I beg you if you have not obeyed the true gospel of Christ do it today that's why I named my channel Mark 16 16 run to the water because walking is not going to get you there fast enough please get to the water today if you need help with that contact me I will find someone to help you because you need help with it. I love you. I love your soul. And I'll see you next time.